In today's video, I want to introduce you to a German meatloaf called Falscher Hase. And Falscher Hase can be translated to fake bunny or fake rabbit. It's a traditional recipe that we often eat for Easter, but also year round. Since I know that many Americans call the German Leberkäse or liver cheese a German meatloaf, that is a different recipe. It's a kind of meatloaf in some way, but it's still different. But if you are looking for that and ended up here, you can go to this video that shows you how to make a liver cheese or Leberkäse. But this is a different kind of German meatloaf, but still stick around. I will link to the other recipe at the end of this video. So for the ingredients today, I will need 600 grams of ground meat and I'm having some mixed ground meat here, which means um, half of the meat is ground beef and the other half is ground pork. Since I cannot buy that here where I live, I had to buy some pork chops and grind them in my grinder and I will just mix 300 grams of the pork with the 300 grams of ground beef that I bought in the store. But you don't have to go through that trouble, that's just me being stubborn. You can just use ground beef entirely. So then you also need some garlic, a chopped onion, parsley, one and a half rolls from the day before, so it can be a little bit stale, that's fine, salt and pepper, two raw eggs, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, five boiled eggs, 14 slices of bacon, and later for the sauce you will need some starch, like cornstarch or potato starch, then you will also need some vegetables and um, you can use fresh vegetables. Uh, you would use some carrots, some root celery and some leek. I'm always preparing this kind of vegetables when I buy them and then I freeze them and whenever I need them, I'm just taking them out and use them like that. But you can also use them fresh, of course. Then you also need 350 milliliters of chicken broth. That is one cup and a quarter cup. And like I said, you will find metric or US customary measurements on the blog post. So I'm already preheating the oven to 340 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 170 degrees Celsius. And I'm not using the convection function of my oven this time. So I'm just using the upper and lower heat of the oven. Now I first have to soak the rolls in water. That will take a couple of minutes. And while this is soaking, I can already prepare the other ingredients here. So I'm adding the meat and the onions to a bowl. Also the raw eggs. Then about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, some salt, and these meatloaves always need a little more salt. There will be salt in the, in the bacon though. soaked so I'm now pressing out the water I don't want to add liquid to the mass I want to have these rolls for binding okay one now I need to mix this and I'm mixing this with my hands. If you don't want to do this with your hands, you can of course also use a kitchen um, aid or a mixer with a kneading attachment. And 
And if you don't have any rolls on hand that you can use here, you can also instead use some breadcrumbs. Okay, you can see I've mixed this well now and I also want to add some of the parsley. Instead of parsley, you could also use some chives. My meatloaf will be wrapped in bacon, but you don't have to do that. You can leave that step out. It's just my son really loves bacon and I know when I wrap this meatloaf in bacon, I will have him smile from one ear to the other. He will totally love that. Okay, so I am taking the slices and I want um, the, the fat side, the side to be the overlapping part so that we mostly have the meat part around the outer sides. And you know that this will shrink in the oven. The bacon always shrinks when it loses some of the fat. So that is why I will later make sure that these things overlap enough. Okay, now I'm dumping this on top and I make a rectangular shape. And I leave some space on all sides, as you can see here. And the meat should be about the same thickness all over. Okay, now I make an indention here in the center. This is where the eggs will go. When you boil the eggs, you should first bring some water to a boil and then add the eggs and boil them for seven minutes. I might have boiled them a little too long today, I was busy with setting up everything, so um, there's a chance that these eggs are a little bit blue inside. I hope not, but I will find out later. Okay, so now this has to be wrapped. And I just put this over here. around okay and I need to close the sides. a little inside here so next I'm adding the vegetables and I put them right next to the falsche Hase to the fake rabbit and I'm adding some more of these vegetables on both sides My oven has already reached the temperature and this will go into the oven for about one hour now. 
And after a while, I'll also add some of the broth to the vegetables. It's been an hour and this is what it looks like now. I will now use the vegetables to prepare the sauce and while I'm doing that I will put the meatloaf back into the oven to keep it warm. So I scrap all these veggies and put them into a pot. Okay, back into the oven to keep it warm. Next, I'm adding the remaining uh, broth. And I'm also adding some more water. And I bring it back to a boil. I have this boil now for a couple of minutes. And um, now I want to make the sauce and I want to take out most of the vegetables. I will leave a little bit of it for the taste. Uh, some might want to leave the entire vegetables in it. I don't want that because it would make the sauce taste too much like a soup. I really want to preserve the taste of the meat dish that we are making here. So I'm removing most of it. And then I use the immersion blender and blend in the remaining vegetables. So now I want to taste what it's tasting like and see what spices I have to add. Mm. It tastes very delicious. Um, there is enough salt in here. I want to add a little more pepper. And you can, of course, add any kind of spice that you like, like uh, paprika or something like that. Give it a second try. Fantastic. Um, now I want to thicken this a little bit. And for that, I'm mixing some cornstarch with water. And I need to bring this back to a boil so I can thicken this. Okay, it looks good. You can see it thickening here compared to before. Just perfect. Wonderful. So I will take the meatloaf out of the oven now and cut it so we can see what it looks from the inside. Now I'm curious if my eggs are blue or not. I hope not. So let's cut here where you will be able to see it hopefully. Uh, a little bit. So let me show you here. So it's a little bit gray on the outside. It doesn't matter. It's just something that doesn't look as nice as if it would be completely yellow. Um, let me make another slice here. I think it's not that bad. Let's taste it a little bit. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. This is so good. This is, oh my gosh, it's really good. It's very juicy, very uh, soft in the texture, has a very good taste just fantastic just as i like it yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did 
like, subscribe, hit the bell button, watch the picture that are coming up and also watch some more of my videos. Thanks for watching!